Since Vice President Harris became the Democratic presidential nominee, she said it's her job to prosecute the political case against former President Trump. And in her closing argument Tuesday night, she said it's time to turn the page on the past. And this election is more than just a choice between two parties and two different candidates. It is a choice about whether we have a country rooted in freedom for every American or ruled by chaos and division. With her sights set on undecided voters, Vice President Harris painting two very different pictures of America's future. One with her in the Oval Office and the other with the second Trump administration. This is someone who is unstable, obsessed with revenge, consumed with grievance, and out for unchecked power. We have to stop pointing fingers and start locking arms. Harris delivering this address in the same place where, in 2021, then-President Donald Trump delivered his infamous January 6th speech, falsely claiming the election was stolen, which he repeated hours earlier on Tuesday. They stole it. They went in like taking candy from a baby. During his Sunday rally at Madison Square Garden, Trump made his closing argument. I will end inflation. I will stop the invasion of criminals coming into our country. And I will bring back the American dream. Harris, Trump, and their running mates will now spend the next week blitzing these seven battleground states expected to determine the outcome of the presidential race. As for how the Harris campaign feels right now, they believe all seven of those swing states are in play for them, but they acknowledge how close the polls are. As campaign chair Jen O'Malley Dillon recently put it, they see this as a margin of error race. In Washington, I'm Atrell Nishar.